G'day Bomber fans, second video of the day. Uh, if you haven't already, go check out my video on Lamont Lowell, who we drafted at pick 39, and my video on Nate Caddy, who we picked up uh, the night before. But now it's about Archie Roberts, the steal of the draft in many people's eyes. He is, in my opinion, at least. Uh, he is also, in my opinion, one of the very best general defenders of this crop, and we grabbed him with pick 54. So let's talk about him. Alrighty, so we didn't originally have pick 54. We had pick 80-something. Uh, we had drafted. Luman Lawal, we were probably relaxing a bit. Uh, Dodoro had his feet up, and then he thought, you know what, this guy's still on the board. We do already have a general defender, um, but Roberts is a very different player, so he thought we'll have a crack. He sent over a future fourth rounder to Richmond and grabbed pick 54 in return. It's a win in my eyes. Archie Roberts was the 23rd best player in my draft on the AFL 101 uh, uh, draft power rankings on my other channel, which doesn't sound great, but out of all the general defenders, he was the third best. I rate him more than Lamont Lowell, who we took far earlier. He is a very different player, but a very good one, so let's discuss him. So Archie Roberts is just a natural footballer. He is quick, he is slick, he's a terrific kick. I uh, got no more rhymes, but you get the idea. He's exactly who you want to have the ball in the hands of. It's, it's like a better replacement for Massimo D'Ambrosio. He was all Australian for Vic Metro and Champs, so clearly viewed as one of the best defenders by the them. He just sets up play as well. You're going to hear people say that a lot. He uses his left foot to spark life into teams when attacking from defense. Uh, Lowell will use his pace. Roberts will surgically manipulate lines and zones to find space. He is really smart with his ball use, which I like. He has a great leg and uh, well, he knows how to use it. And he's quick as well. He's not as quick as Lowell, but he can outrun a player if need be. He is pretty much your prototype rebounding defender. Lowell is your prototype, a prototype athlete rebounding defender. Roberts is a modern day halfback for a team that wants good ball use. I think it's a terrific decision bringing them both in because we could well have them both playing together at the same age in a few years, giving our team layers in defense. In saying that, I do think Roberts has the capability to drift uh, towards the midfield more. I actually look at his athletic capabilities and his game sense, his, his lack of defensive coverage, which I'm going to get to later. And it makes me think he could end up being a handy midfielder in the future. The guy needs to have the ball in the attacking half. I, I look at players who can set up play for us from defense or midfield. Uh, currently, there are a few, but Roberts would add another great ball user for us going forward. He already averages a good amount of score involvements for a general defender. Those numbers would rise if he was to end up being an outside midfielder or a wingman for us. And he has the tank to be a wingman, by the way. I don't think he's certain to be a star player, but by the time he comes good, Merritt will be near the end of his career, and I see a few similarities between the two. He has good AFL level endurance. He doesn't outrun himself too early in games. He's pretty smart with his engine. Uh, he is a mature head and through all teams is seeked out to use the ball. Supply teams uh, with kicking going forward. He loves to move the ball forward. He's been compared to pretty much every elite general defender like him. Uh, Christian Salem is a big one I hear a lot. Uh, some say Scott Pendlebury. I disagree with that a bit, but his play style is fairly similar. He's not going to be as good as Scott Pendlebury, obviously. Players rarely are. I should talk about why he slid. I don't really know why he slid that much. No one really does. I found it absolutely absurd that players like Oscar Ryan and Bodie Ryan in, of his position were taken ahead of him. Uh, not many players have shown the consistency throughout the year as Roberts has, but he isn't perfect. There are definitely some cons. I will say his defensive craft is probably the biggest one. I think he reads the play well and can even intercept when it is one-dimensional footy, but because he likes to be involved high up the field, he often loses his place in a zone the other way back. Um, so if the game is really rapid in its pacing and back and forth, he may find himself out of position a tad. I would say he often makes the problem himself because he does like to inject pace into the flow of play. He is someone who thrives off of that style when he is attacking but can falter when defending. It's not as bad as someone like Massimo who I didn't want in defense because of it. He has shown he can defend uh, but it's definitely not a strength of his. You almost wouldn't want him on a good small forward because of it, on a dangerous small forward because of it. So he can defend when the game is being played in a way that makes it easy to defend. In fact, I would say he is better than good when it's being 
being played a bit slower and easier to read, but when he is at his best, he can also hurt teams a bit through his positioning. From what and uh, from what I and many have watched, though, it doesn't really make him a pick 54. Um, I had him around the 20 for a reason. He is a really, really promising player. I think we should be really excited we have him. I know he was taken after Luau, but I do think he is a better player than him right now. It's often hard to judge this early into a career, though. Something else, I guess he's a little bit leaner, uh, not too lean that it's an issue. I can see him potentially playing AFL next year if he puts on a few kegs, uh, or at least he is more likely to than Lamont Lowell, but he can definitely do with a bit of muscle uh, through his arms and legs. He can even get quicker with a bit more leg uh, strength. Uh, I also think some muscle and core work can make him really hard to tackle and improve his evasive nature. It would be great to see him play through the VFL though. I feel like he can get some early performances under the belt and make other list managers feel silly for passing on him. He is a real talent. Don't let that uh, pick 54 price tag scare you off. He can play. But that is that. Another little pocket preview of Archie Roberts, our latest Essendon recruit. I will do these videos for our rookies as well, but probably condensed into one video. I have loved what Dodoro has done here. Moving up to get Caddy was brilliant. Brilliant, but moving up to get Roberts is just as good. We have aced this draft again. Uh, if you haven't, go check out my videos on Nate Caddy and Lamont Lowell, but that is all for now. I'm probably going to do a draft review maybe Friday, maybe even chuck a grading in there somewhere. I don't know. That's all though. Like, subscribe, and go Bombers.